Hey, it is Jacob from Team Ida Bros, aka Team HOC 2009. Uh, posted the video yesterday about uh, YCS um, Salt Lake recap, and it ran super long. My bad. Um, shout out to anybody that actually stayed throughout that whole thing. That's crazy. Um, driving to work again and just kind of having some some thoughts and uh, maybe wanted to start a, a discussion, kind of see what, you know, the community or at least the part of the community, the, the select few that still watch when we post videos, um, see what the thoughts are. So what's running through my head right now is the game, right? So at this point, um, personally, you know, I, I've been playing the game a long time right now. I'm 25, uh, and I started playing the game when I was in middle school and, you know, young, playing cards in the park and all sorts of crazy shit like that. Um, and, you know, I've had a few, a couple year breaks here and there with, you know, different crazy stuff, but, uh, you know, kind of back playing now. Um, the tough part is, and kind of what I want to talk about, is how, um, you know, the, the people that started playing the game either probably were like I was kind of a middle school age or high schoolers or, or young adults. Not everybody, somebody, you know, some people were already older than that by the time they started playing, um, which is awesome. Um, but I, I feel like a majority of the player base was probably within the same age group at the time. Um, so now, you know, we are in our mid twenties. Um, some early, some later, you know, some getting into 30s, some above that. Um, but with the bulk of, of the beginning age group, those are that are still playing, getting older, um, there's things that go along with that. So, you know, we, we have myself, you know, I'm married now. Um, you know, I've been with my wife for eight years. We've been married for part of that and have two kids um, one's five, one's two. Um, so life has progressed, right? With work, um, school, you know, all sorts of crazy shit going on. How do you take this player group or this player base that started so young and had nothing but free time, uh, that grew up playing the game, right? Playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And, you know, essentially spending all of their time um, and resources, right? Whether again, I guess time is a resource, money, um, any anything, right? They spend all this and they dedicate all this, um, and now they have to grow up, um, and they have to take that time and take that effort that they were dedicating to a hobby, um, and essentially reallocate it to these other things, family kids, I guess kids are family, either way, um, and how do you still maintain being halfway decent, um, at the game while essentially spending a fraction of the time that you did for so long, um, so that's, that's the question, right, is now that, that everybody's older, everybody has, maybe not everybody, but a good amount of people probably have more responsibilities than they did prior. Um, how do you manage that? Can you still be good? Can you still play well? Does it depend on how much money that you make? If you can afford the decks and everything like that? If that's the case, does it also matter how much money that, or uh, time, excuse me, that you could take away from your other responsibilities? So, I mean, I would definitely like to hear what everybody's thoughts are on that and uh, experience. Um, personally, um, I know I, I kind of touched on it in uh, the video uh, for the recap. Um, YCS Salt Lake. I played Draco, um, had all the stuff, um, the, you know, a whole deck, a uh, few cards difference from the one that topped, which I mean, Obviously, if you're playing meta, you're playing Draco, pretty much all the lists are the same, so that's not really saying much. Um, but what I'm trying to get at there is I had the resources, I had the money um, to buy the one of the best decks. But um, even though I was able to allocate the money and, and take those resources, I was not able to allocate um, the time. 
So I was able to go through and, and get this top tier, you know, awesome deck, but I was not able to get, go to locals consistently. I wasn't able to uh, play test with too many outside of my like immediate, immediate group. Um, and honestly, it's, it's one of those where those, obviously any play testing is good, but I really needed to play test mirror, really need, needed to play test pendulum. Um, I just, I didn't have the opportunity. Granted, I, you know, I'm definitely not gonna blow smoke and say, hey, that was the difference. Like I only lost because I didn't play test. It, it probably was a huge factor in that, um, but I'm not arrogant enough to say, oh, yep, that's, that's the sole reason why. Um, but again, big reason. So how do you, how do you fix that problem? How do you kind of mitigate your, your time um, between, you know, essentially real life and this hobby that we have? Um, so, I mean, I, I think that's something that's really developed and has been around for a while um, that can help that I didn't take advantage of that I should have uh, are things like YGO Pro or, um, dueling book or essentially any of the online ways, I guess you could say, uh, to play the game, right? You're able to get some play testing in, um, in the comfort of your home, not having to take too much time away from your family and things like that. Uh, it's still definitely not a suitable replacement for playing in real life. Uh, you kind of still miss that human interaction. Um, and it still does take time. I mean, you can't be parked on the computer all the time when your kids are running around. Um, or you have, you know, whatever other obligations that you have for, you know, the real life stuff. Um, so, I mean, that that's an idea. That's something. Um, I mean, even, you know, like I said before, you know, one of my good buddies is, is living with us right now. Um, and we've been playing the game together for a long, long time. And it's still not something where it's like, oh, yeah, you know, every day we're going to sit down and, and bust out a game like that's just not practical with work and kids and everything like that um but I mean that that's just kind of kind of what I'm wondering kind of what's uh on the top of my head like I said I just wanted to have a quick discussion something that didn't end up being 20 minutes long um I definitely appreciate you know anybody that's still watching um anybody that has suggestions um I know like the whole car video thing is some people like it some people really don't. Um, honestly, I, I don't have any cards right now. I actually ended up selling everything that I had after the event, after, um, you know, the YCS. So I'm still going to probably start picking stuff up, you know, start playing again. Uh, but it, that kind of goes back to the same thing. You know, I, I spent all this time getting ready, uh, at least as much time as I could dedicate, um, and resources and everything like that that uh you know now the event's over now i start playing for fun well now everything has to kind of dial back you know i go every three you know every two or three weeks uh to locals versus trying not succeeding but trying to go every weekend um either way where i was going was that is as honestly you know these types of videos are are what i have the resources for right discussions and things like that and have a, a couple ideas that are are still kind of floating around maybe I'll, I'll shoot another one on uh Thursday, uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Either way, uh, if you have any answers or, or how you deal with kind of this conundrum of, of growing up, having all these other obligations and still trying to be competitive um, versus a casual, um, let me know. You know, definitely post uh, in the comments and, uh, you know, maybe we'll start a discussion or maybe, you know, something I don't or have an idea or, or do something different. Um, either way, this is Jake. Uh, the um, Team Ida Bros. Peace.